evacuation protocols. Execute emergency response. Houston, fire and fog in Zyra. Power down. Ilya. So, uh, let me start maybe with uh, Peter. Uh, I mean, I was reading the production notes and uh, the amount of research that you had to put in for a product uh, project of this magnitude is very obvious. What was something maybe that you discovered about outer space that fascinated you during this period of research? I think it was that, um, I think it was all of these little ghost stories and 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 weird stories of uh, things that have uh, happened up there and I don't know I don't know the the truth of them all necessarily but um you know a lot of the things that we touch on in in the show uh have supposedly happened you know there was uh, the crew of the Russian space um station Salyut 7 did indeed say that they saw angels outside the uh outside the capsule and then 10 days later the relief crew came and they saw exactly the same thing and um you know people people see these kind of balls of light going through the capsule which can pass through your hand and out the other side and they don't i mean they don't really know what these things are so it was um y- you know that all of that's quite mind-blowing you know there's uh, uh i'm i'm really interested in what happens to your brain and your kind of um perception of reality when you go up to space and and come back again but it does seem that weird things go on up there and um you know people don't always talk about it but they uh you know uh, you know it's it's haunted up there maybe absolutely teach so uh, this whole concept of uh, astronaut ptsd is is it based in fact is it does it acting yet that astronauts get ptsd um well i mean i don't uh, i don't know but uh, but i know that um you know there's there's an effect called the overview effect and um which which happens to you when you see earth distantly and uh, you know you see everything that you've ever known at a distance and for some people that can be kind of enormously life affirming and and joyous and spiritual and for other people, it can it can uh, horrify them, and I know that I, I know that astronauts come back with a different perspective on life, and I think some of them have have struggled, understandably, because I mean, you know, that's the that for many people that's the pinnacle of their life, and then well, how do you how do you adjust uh, after that? I think it's a lot to uh, process, and I think that going forward in in the future of space travel. Uh, you know, we've got to really consider the human factor in it and um, what it's like to be separated from your loved ones for such a long time. Uh, you know, how how psychologically human beings can survive leaving the Earth for, for such a long time. So, Michelle, I know we have limited time. So, I'm, I am I have been a fan of, your, of all your work, pretty much. So Jonathan Banks, and you have such a long history, such a long association, and he's become so iconic with that one role, right? So what was it like seeing him in such a different kind of avatar for this? I was exciting. I When uh, I read the script, I thought Jonathan would really enjoy, uh, I mean, Mike's such an iconic character, and it's, he's so brilliant playing it, but this is very different, and he gets to play two different characters. In one, so uh, I thought Jonathan would really appreciate it, and I reached out to him and I said, "I'm going to send you something, and I think you're going to like it." And he called us back the next day and said, "I'm in." So uh, it was exciting. It was really he's he's uh, always swings for the fences. He's got uh, wonderful energy on set, and he's just a joy to to work with. Thank you so much. Um, my mind was blown as I mentioned. I'm sure all our viewers and readers will feel the same way. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Bye.